Hi, my name is Becky Butcher and I'm an assistant professor in secondary literacy education at Illinois State University. My name is Lara Hansfield. I'm a professor of elementary literacy and bilingual education also at Illinois State. Our third author is Carolyn Hunt, an assistant professor of elementary education at ISU. Today we'll be talking about our paper titled, What Matter Matters? Retaining the Critical and New Materialist Literacy Research. Along with many in the field, we've been interested in the recent materialist turn in literacy research, including a turn towards post-human and new materialist theories. This has included learning about how matter, both human and non-human, comes to matter. Simultaneous to this turn is within the Literacy Research Association's resolution, res resolution to not ignore issues of racism or to become complicit in the perpetuation of racial inequ inequities. With some exceptions, we have found a troubling absence of conversations in new materialist literacy research about race and racism. So our purpose in this article is threefold. First, to explore the ethical and moral implications of employing new materialist frames and literacy research involving racialized youth. Uh, second, to argue for the value of a multi-theoretic approach that retains criticality while also engaging in new materialist analysis. And three, to offer some guiding principles for the field for socially just and anti-racist new materialist literacy research. We do this by conducting a critical new materialist analysis of a short autobiographical video that was produced by Malcolm, who was a black male high school student uh, involved in Becky's previous research. So Malcolm composed his digital, digital autobiography <coughs> during a tumultuous time in his life. Um, and he offered a counter narrative of himself through his digital storytelling project that countered how he was being positioned through many deficit perspectives within his school context, as well as in other parts of his life. This led us to um, inquire, what does a new materialist analysis that retains critical epistemologies illustrate about Malcolm's literacy practices? In our paper, we argue for the centering of human bodies in what we're calling a critical new materialist analysis. We find this way of understanding the body as essential to a critical analysis that gives rise to examining how bodies take shape and transform in relation to one another in ways that defy dominant paradigms. So in terms of our methodology, our analysis reflects elements um, of microethnographic discourse analysis, uh, narrative analysis, as well as poetic forms. Um, in this sense, it's very multi-theoretic. Um, we tried to address discourse and materiality as really entangled in order to understand both the historical and emergent production of Malcolm as a writer. Um, we composed a multimodal transcript that included um, a Malcolm's agentic production of his video as well as Becky's affective responses while viewing the video. There are several implications for this work. First, new materials literacy research must account for the asymmetrical ways in which human bodies emerge through interactions by attending to the dominant discourses that are inscribed on and or erased other bodies. This underscores the importance of centering human bodies, discourses, and agencies while accounting for how non-human bodies matter within literacy research and practice. We hope that this piece will generate thoughtful and critical dialogue in the field.